The solubility product constant is a specific type of equilibrium constant uh, for the equilibrium that exists between a solid ionic solute and its ions in a saturated aqueous solution. This value represents the degree to which a compound, an ionic compound, can dissociate in water. The solubility product is the concentration of the ions in solution multiplied together. We come to this because if you remember from my earlier video on the equilibrium constant that we don't include our solids or our pure liquids in the equilibrium constant expression and that's the same for our solubility product. So what is the solubility product, also known as KSP, what does it tell us? So if the KSP value is a little less than one, then the compound has dissociated to be mostly ions. So this means that the reaction favors the forward reaction. It favors the right hand side of an equation where most of the ionic solid has dissociated. If the KSP value is really small, then the compound will be mostly still a solid, still in its ionic lattice, and the reaction favors the left hand side. The smaller the KSP value, the less soluble it is. So this is all about how soluble something is. The more soluble, the more ions we're going to have in solution. So to teach you how to determine what the KSP is going to be when you're only given concentration, I'm going to walk you through an example. So here is our first example. The solubility of lead iodide is 0.028 molar at 25 degrees Celsius. Calculate the KSP at 25 degrees Celsius. So our first step is to write out the equation. So for this particular example, we're looking at solubility. So that means we're looking at the dissociation of lead iodide. Make sure that your equation is balanced and also make sure that your equation has each of the states of matter. Step number two is to write the KSP expression. So remember our expression only contains our ions and that it is taken to the power that is the molar ratio. Step number three is to calculate the concentration of the ions. Now we get this from the question and from looking at the ratio in our first equation. So we know the solubility of lead iodide is 0.028. Now the molar ratio between that and our lead ions in solution is one to one. So that means that we can also safely say that our concentration of our lead ions in solution is going to be 0.028 as well. The ratio from our lead iodide to our iodide ions is 1 to 2. So that means that our concentration of our iodide ions is going to be two, 2 times the amount of the lead iodide, so 2 times the 0.028, which is going to give us a value of 0.0. 5, 6 molar. Now we've got all of our concentration of the ions. So step number four is to sub those concentrations back into our KSP expression, which is up here in step number two. So our KSP is going to be our concentration of our lead. So that's a 0.02A. multiplied by the concentration of our iodide to the power of two. And now all we have to do is put that in the calculator to solve for KSP. And what we end up with is that KSP equals 8.78 times 10 to the minus five. And that's it. So we have calculated the KSP from the solubility of our ionic substance. Okay, so now we're looking at the opposite. So we're looking at an example now where we're being asked to calculate solubility from the KSP. 
Okay, so in this example, it says that the KSP of silver iodide is 1.5 times 10 to the minus 16. Calculate the molar solubility. So the last example, we were given molar solubility and asked to calculate KSP. This one is the opposite. We're being asked to calculate molar solubility from KSP. Okay, so hopefully um, looking at my steps here, you can already see that my first two are exactly the same as my last one. So step number one is to write the equation. Step number two is to write the expression. Both of these are important. And if you're in an exam and doing a question and you don't really know where to start, this is where you start. Always write the equation, always write the expression, and you can work out where to go after that. So the first one, the, ex the equation for this reaction, we're looking at silver iodide. Again, we're looking at a dissociation reaction. So we're looking at it to split up into ions. So we're gonna have silver ions and we're gonna have iodide ions. And that is already balanced. The expression for KSP is our concentration of our ions multiplied. Step number three, this is where it changes a little bit. So we're gonna sub X into this expression to represent the molar solubility of the ions. Now, since they're both a one-to-one -one ratio, we can use X for both of them. So that means that KSB, we're looking at X, the concentration of X times X, or another way of writing that would be X squared. So now what I'm gonna do, we're actually given the KSP. So I can sub the value of the KSP in here too. So KSP is 1.5 times 10 to the minus 16 equals X squared. And I'm gonna solve this for X. So if I take the square root of each side, that means that I can find the value for X. So X equals 1.22 times 10 to the minus eight. That's telling me that the concentration of each of these species here, silver and iodide are both 1.22 times 10 to the minus eight because they're one to one ratio. But the question's asking us to calculate the molar solubility of the silver iodide. And again, what's the molar ratio between them all? It's one to one to one. So that means that the, the molar solubility of the silver iodide is 1.22 times 10 to the minus eight. 